Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now Android 10 has just been released and I can tell you that it's the fastest version of Android that we have ever seen. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so Android 10 comes with lots of improvements and new functionality, including a performance boost. So what I thought I would do is I would run speed test G on our Pixel running uh, Android 9, and then I'd run Speed Test G again on exactly the same device, but this time I would have flashed Android 10 onto it. And of course, I've actually made multiple tests, optimal conditions, let the phone cool down, all that kind of stuff. So these are the consistent results that I'm getting out of this. Now, I'm not gonna do my normal commentary that I might do with some of my other Speed Test G videos. Instead, I'm gonna talk about all the advantages that you get with Android 10, including the changes to some of the API stuff, some of the permissions, why there are performance improvements. And then at the very end, we'll see which device comes in first and break down those scores and see where the improvements come from. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so as the test gets underway, we have Android 9 on the Pixel 1 there on the left-hand side. We have Android 10 on the right-hand side. Now, some of the big improvements to Android 10 come from improvements to the Android runtime library, which, of course, is how the Java code is executed on Android, and it helps apps start faster, less memory is consumed, and they should run smoother, and no work is required by app developers. This is an internal change inside of Android 10. Other changes in Android 10, of course, are the new gesture controls, which can replace the uh, soft screen on-screen keys if you want them to. For example, swipe up from the bottom replaces the home key. There is a dark theme which can be activated via the settings or via a toggle in your quick settings menu. Another big change is Project Mainline. Android 10 is the first Android release to support Project Mainline, which officially is called Google Play System Updates. A new approach to securing Android and keeping devices up to date directly from Google Play. With Google Play System Updates, Google is able to update specific internal components of any device running Android 10, whether that's from a big name like Samsung, LG, OnePlus, Sony, whoever, or whether it's from a lesser known brand, you are now able to get important system updates directly from Google Play without waiting for the manufacturer to provide those security updates. This is a big, big thing and will really help to improve updates that we're getting on our Android devices. There is also a new thermal API. When devices get too warm, they will throttle the CPU and GPU. And of course, this can have unexpected effects, particularly when you are playing a game. Now in Android 10, games and apps can monitor the thermal API and make those changes themselves. So for example, a streaming app might lower the bit rate or a game may intentionally lower the frame rate so that the device does not get too hot. There is also a new camera depth API. Apps can now request a dynamic depth image along with depth metadata related to depth related elements and depth and confidence maps embedded into all the same piece of data. This will allow, allow app developers to create specialized blurs and bokers directly from the camera. There are some important API changes, uh, particularly for accessing uh, location data in the background. But interestingly, there is also an access background location permission. So some apps can still ask for that. Android 10 uh, introduces the activity recognition runtime permission for apps that need to detect the user's step count or classify the user's activities such as walking, biking, or so on. Some libraries with Google Play services, uh, such as Activity Recognition API, will not provide re results unless that permission has been selected by the user. Finally, Vulkan 1.1 is now a requirement for all 64-bit devices running Android 10 and a recommendation for all 32-bit devices. Now, for a full overview of Android 10, please check out Joe Hindi's video on the Android Authority YouTube channel and we can see the Android 10 device finished there in 2 minutes and 47 seconds whereas the Android 9 device finished in 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Remember this is exactly the same device. I just flashed different version of Android onto it. So let's break down those scores and see where we find the improvements. Okay, so we look at the times here. The Android 10 device came in at 2 minutes and 47.7 seconds. And then over 6 seconds later, the Android 9, exactly the same device, uh, with 2 minutes and 53.3. So where did that extra time come from? If you look at the CPU time, 1 minute 13 for Android 9, 1 minute 9 for Android 10. So quite a few seconds there gained in better CPU, which would be things like improvements to the runtime environment. Then actually, funnily enough, the uh, Android 9, did better during the mixed test, which include things like the blur test, 48.5 compared to 50.2. But then when we get back to the GPU, 51 seconds for Android. 
Android 9, 48 seconds for Android 10. So basically improvement in CPU and GPU means that actually this is the fastest version of Android ever released. Okay, so there you have it. Android 10 is faster than Android 9, making it the fastest version of Android we have ever seen. Also, Google have released Project Mainline into Android 10, which is really, really exciting and will help bring updates to all Android uh, devices, even from OEMs that maybe aren't as diligent as they should be in releasing uh, security patches. Oh, one other thing to tell you, if you want an actual speed test G between version Android version 7, 8, 9 and 10 with my normal commentary, you'll find that now over on the speed test G uh, channel. And I suppose that's about it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget the new Speedtest G channel that I just mentioned there. And again, I suppose that's it. I'll see you in the next one.